Welcome to My Little Book Club. My name's Diana, and I can't wait to talk about books with you all. Hi! Hi! Yay! I need to turn my volume up. There we go. Yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> so I'm super, super excited. Not that you can see it. The... Well, I guess that works. I'm so excited about this book. Me too. Why don't you go first, Jessica? You guys always hear me talk. Um, all right. So the book of the month happened to be one that I suggested. So that was pretty awesome. I just wanted a Halloween book that wasn't just full of gore. And, you know, I didn't want to read Twilight again. <laughs> but I wanted something for Halloween. So um, I happened to be scrolling through Amazon looking for new books. And this book popped up. And I was super excited to to read it. it just the premises of it sounded great and I suggested it to the book club and everybody else was thinking around the the same thing I was and we all kind of voted for it yeah so it was I awesome. was really shocked me too they were cute I just I loved that they were fun and they were cute and well I liked easy. how it was described as a cozy witch mystery and I was just didn't even know what that was but I knew I was all about it I was like let's yeah read this I can't wait <laughs> yeah I could see this being like a cute little series on Netflix or something yes definitely like, it really was like what maybe a six hour read yeah at most. I started it like noon one day and had it done by like noon the next day yeah it was definitely a very easy read um I really enjoyed just all the characters I it kind of felt like Caravelle to me just like the colorful magical world that you yeah. enter with lots of yummy so. foods that made me really hungry <laughs> yeah <laughs> definitely i did like all the baking did you get to see that they had a free download at the end of the i book? did and i downloaded it i haven't looked through it yet but i'm not really a baker <laughs> for cute it was somebody um an artist actually drew pictures to go along with the recipes oh so awesome. it's really cute when you open it up it's almost like look you're looking at her recipe book Aww. And then you've got cute little pictures. There was a cute picture of um, Iggy, who is my favorite character. Oh, Iggy's awesome. <laughs> I definitely couldn't get enough of Iggy. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. I felt so bad for him sometimes, though. Yes, definitely. <laughs> All around. There's just yeah. so many questions I still have, so I'm pretty excited to continue reading. Yeah, I liked that, for the most part, the story just wrapped up, so I didn't feel like agitated that I was on a cliffhanger you yes. know but I still wanted to know more like what's what's gonna happen because you know she needs to learn her skills and he's the only one that can teach her and but she yeah, doesn't want to be really anywhere near him <laughs> yeah because the one thing that bothered me through the book was that she wasn't able to pick up on magic at all really and so as she's baking she's needing all this help and all this stuff and basically um i i just thought it was so interesting the whole swallow being a swallow you know i just i've never really thought about that being just like a magical ability so right. that was really interesting yeah i thought that was like how she gets has swallows the energy like it was just I, I don't like the name, but... No, I don't either. <laughs> but yeah. No, I really enjoyed just the whole thing from start to finish. Uh, I mean, you just watch this character. She is doing exactly what a lot of us want to do, and that save up and and just follow your dream. And she has it all within her grasp, and it literally goes up in flames. Uh, that was so terrible. <laughs> I felt so bad for her. Like, yeah. oh, but you got to be kidding me. Mm -hmm. And then even like... You know, at that moment, I mean, even though I kind of predicted what was going to happen with the cake, that it was being sent there magically when she wraps it up. But still, there's that mm -hmm. moment of, like, I'm feeling what she feels. She doesn't realize that. She has no idea magic is real. So in her eyes, her dreams have gone down, plus her one chance to maybe earn, you know, a, a baking job has also mm -hmm. gone down in flames. Like, everything. Her actual yes. dream and the possibility of a backup dream all gone in one night she finally had everything she had all the money saved up everything everything was right just 
all her ducks were in a row. And then that's totally relatable because that's totally how life is. You never yeah. know what's going to happen. Yeah. And then I felt so bad for her during the baking contest. Like everything that could go wrong was going wrong. You know, her flame was having his attitude problems. And, and, then, it, and then I was just, it boggled me sometimes because clearly before she enters the contest, she's cooking magically. Right? Mm-hmm. Because the wedding that she cooks for that makes the bride suddenly happy, <laughs> that everybody's mm-hmm. happy. So obviously it was a magical food that she made, but then when she actually has to go do it on purpose, she like can't recreate it. I was like, Oh, this poor girl. Yes, definitely. I definitely felt bad for her. The flame talking was kind of weird, but he really grew on me. Iggy was awesome. I like that they added that in that it, it just didn't feel like I was watching, I don't know, some chef show on food network with the flame being a part of it like that. It just made it more magical. Yeah, he kind of, kind of, um, attitude wise, kind of remind me of the sorting hat just a little bit. <laughs> like just some of his little attitude and quirks and, and snappiness. <laughs> yeah, um, I definitely, um, I, I kind of had a feeling of like who Hank was initially. Yeah, me too. Um, I definitely, especially when she followed him and, um, uh into the forest so right and they just let him go through yeah i was like no he has to be the prince i definitely saw that one coming (laughs) but what i didn't see coming was just the whole way the murder ended up um unfolding see i did suspect that i suspected that it was oh now i can't remember her name the snooty girl and um, i somehow knew it was Brittany. yeah Brittany. Brittany. Brittany and um the first day, dude. Goodness. See, that's how much I didn't really care Nate. about their care. Nate, yeah. Should remember that, yeah. shouldn't I? Yeah. Um, I, I definitely I, knew I, something was kind of going on, but I didn't expect it to be, you know, the the Badlands. So, yeah. I was hoping very... that Nate was going to be so drawn to Imogen that he was going to, like, put it all to stops and not let it go forward. That's kind of what I was hoping, like, He'd come clean and be like, hey, she's planning this. Let's stop her. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of disappointed that he still went through with it, even though he did try to save her, too. Like, yeah. 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 So I I definitely, at the same time, I was kind of happy that he ended up being the way he was because there's Hank, who's the prince, and he obviously cares so much for her. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why I, I I wouldn't have wanted Nate to fully turn. Like, he mm-hmm. was obviously attractive. And in the end, he kind of sort of attempted to do the right thing. Sort of. Yeah, sort of. But even if he had gone fully good, I, I still would have preferred Hank over him. Yeah, definitely. Um, I just love the whole... I mean, I, I could sit and watch the Food Network for hours. So for me, getting to read about cooking and baking was a lot of fun. And the characters were so whimsical and magical. I just loved them. I loved Maple and Sam. I really liked Sam. His character really intrigued me. And I I thought it was fun after reading this book. um, I ended up picking up Grim Lovelies. And it kind of had that same like feel um, with Sam, with who he is and how he became um, a human. And then you take the Grim Lovelies and it kind of has that same premises. So I thought that was kind of cool because I'd never really thought about that kind of magic like before. Like the other so way, yeah. Fun. That was kind of interesting. Like, cause it, they had to pass through all those um, devices and scans and stuff that made them show their second form, you know? Mm-hmm. So nobody was ever detected as a snake. So there was, you know, how did snake venom get in there and all that stuff. And Mm -hmm. so I was kind of, that one did kind of get me because I just didn't think about that possibility. Like they would have turned into the snake when they went through. So, Mm -hmm. because I like suspected Sam was snake, but then it was like, well, why does, what is, does he have some higher power than them? Like that's, I was trying to figure that one out. So it was a really Mm -hmm. cool concept that his second form was human and that he was actually originally snake. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I really, I, I just can't get enough of this book. It was so short and fun. It was 
it was a, a murder mystery, but not gory. You know, right. it was just so cute. And then I started reading um, the, what is Black Arts, Tarts, and Gypsy Carts. So I started reading that one, <laughs> and it just, it's so cute. <laughs> I really love the characters, and I really love how um, I'll be reading it, and then there'll be the, the this, like, interaction between Iggy and Sam or Iggy and anybody really. And anytime Iggy's talking, I'm cracking up reading this book. So he's, <laughs> he's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. He was pretty good in the first he ends one. Up being my favorite. Yeah. Cause at first he was really annoying and really mm. moody, <laughs> but once, once he finally warms up to Imogen, which is pretty funny cause he's a flame. So um, <laughs> I really enjoyed him after that. Yeah. Once he like told his sad story, um, story and then she went out and searched for those branches for him it was like I loved watching the dynamics shift after that and how um, how great of a flame he ended up becoming after that mm -hmm. but it's very true though you can't really bake something without a good oven so she really did need him and in the end he ended up needing her too so right. we're, we're ended up working out really well yeah yeah so you guys, thank you for joining us. And thanks, Jessica, for coming on and talking about yeah. the book with us. And thanks for suggesting it. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> All right. Good night. Night.